Three, two, one, boom, and we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers, episode 2-4, aka Drunken Love, because of uh, our spiritual folly. So, what we have become privy to is uh, the folly of man and the folly of mind, because the folly of man is mind, in that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, yeah uh, in, in that... Um, We've, uh, we've just encountered uh, some great new uh, religious spiritual lore in the form of, uh, I don't want to say cults, but cults. Why not? Yeah, just say cults. Why not? So uh, uh, why, is it, why is it that like everyone who is into like some sort of spirituality and stuff, they, or like even religion, like mm-hmm. everybody's looking for a, a means to become a better person without actually just becoming a better person? You know what I mean? They need a reason to be a good like, person. It, right, they need a reason to be a good person. It's like, but what I find kind of ridiculous or, or is a like... a reward. Set for up. sure. Exactly, exactly. So a reward, a reward. And it's always like, it always seems to be like whenever you want to become something greater than you actually are without doing any of the work. It's like, maybe mm-hmm. if I read this book, you know, maybe, right. maybe if I join in this session of listening to this guy talk, that I'm somehow going to become like a more... Trans- as some like enlightened being but you know nobody ever asks like what is an enlightened being or like mm-hmm. what is like you know what I mean like we're all we're so quick to jump on anything that's easy yeah that we call it hard you know it's like it's like man you're just not on my level <laughs> you know you're like well what, what did you do that was so on the level I, I went to a seminar really? like oh shoot now you're enlightened bro Change my life. Change my li- change my life, yo. So like, um, so like, in speaking of this, there's like, there's many religion, uh, reli- well, many religions, but many uh, spiritual conundrums. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to call them cults. I'll call them little, uh, little uh, mini religions. Mini religions. Yeah, 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 I'll go with that. Uh, there's many mini religions out there <laughs> that uh, seem like new. It's almost like they take a bunch of lessons from old religions, mm-hmm. old like old paradigms. And then they just like revamp them for the new age, right? You, you know what, like you know what really like uh, gets me, whenever a new one of these kinds of uh, like mini religions, they come up with a new story, and it's like if you if you believe that story, <laughs> how come you don't believe the story that we were made in like six thousand years, you right? Know? Or like, or how how come you don't believe in Adam and Eve? Yeah. You know? Oh no, but that's like a that's like a silly story as compared to like um no offense but like I love Scientology. Scientology's Zeno. It's like I don't know about that. Zeno. Zeno. You know uh, what I mean? I don't know, yeah. Uh, again that's that folly, right? It's just right. easily something new, something different. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. It's like it's like we think that or maybe it's like we think that this person has somehow revamped or or educated themselves on a new level of understanding to whatever but that can't even be the case because they're not even talking about the same religion they're talking about like a whole new thing of like spiritual entities mm-hmm. you, you know what really you know it's really annoying when when they have like uh these these um spiritual beings spiritual entities that nobody can ever see <laughs> you know and then it's like no no but they're there Right, right, yeah. So it's like, do you still believe in Santa Claus? Because Santa Claus allegedly is still there, and he only dies when you don't believe in him, like Tinkerbell. Like Tinkerbell, <laughs> yeah. Right? True, it's true. like we've we've created this system in which uh, in which <laughs> if we believe in these created characters, we can mm-hmm. somehow become divine ourselves. Yeah. Uh I don't know what what how, what makes them change that much though. What makes who change people? Yeah, like, I think it's experience. You know, like they they always talk about like like oh I read this book, but it's it's one thing to read a book, but it's another to actually experience experience and then know. You know, knowledge plus wisdom. Uh, knowledge plus experience. Well, maybe they experience wisdom. something that. But experience what though? How do they know what they haven't experienced are in their own heads? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like if they do a bunch of like mushrooms and then they start seeing like fractals and they think that the whole <laughs> universe is made up of fractals. It's like, no, your visual cortex is being affected right, in a right, way right. that's like making you see fractals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like nobody ever, th- nobody ever stops to think like maybe, maybe it's me, you know, mm-hmm. maybe I'm imagining this. Yeah. 
you know, I wonder what those guys are thinking that create this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they doing it for money? For sure, right? Are they genuinely believe this? And it makes you think, it's like, if you genuinely believe this, like, you know, what gives you the crazy. right? You know what's, cra- <laughs> you know what's crazy? When, when they start talking about, like, interdimensional beings, and it's like, how did you see the interdimensional being? Right. Like, <laughs> are you able to transcend into a different realm that nobody else can see, science can't even see? You know, mm-hmm. or I, mm-hmm. I love I love it when they they have no like uh, scientific background and then they start claiming scientific fact. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> like our world operates on eighteen dimensions of reality. Does it? <laughs> like what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, no science background. No. Yeah, that is right. Like I understand the fourth dimension. It's like uh, they say it's like uh, uh, the three dimensions: uh, space, direction, t- um, space, direction, time, and then the. Or the fourth well, one's time? I think the fourth one's time. The fourth one's time. It's like four dimensions. That makes sense. Including I don't time, remember what yeah. the four dimensions are. That makes sense. But what about like the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the twelfth <laughs> dimension? It's like, what are you operating on? Like, what could possibly... Or it's like levels of enlightenment, you know? But it's crazy because it's like, it's like, what enlightenment? Because the way I see it, it's like, if you can already pinpoint what enlightenment is, then are you not there? You know, if you've already, like, it's like, what is enlightenment? I'm all see- seeking enlightenment. It's like, enlightenment is the ability to not let your emotions be clouding you. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's actually what enlightenment is, but that's what most people think enlightenment is. Like, you're happy all the time. Okay, so be happy all oh, the time, I bro. See, I see. You know what I mean? I, I, I think enlightenment <laughs> is realizing that it's all in your head. That's true enlightenment. Because then at that point, you can, like, you can fix anything. It's like, oh, like, you're sad. It's in my head. Yeah. Oh, you're happy. It's in your head, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So take it easy. It's just, it's just, it's take it easy. They, I think, that, you know, like, they're like, oh, was, Buddha was very Zen. You know, Buddha is very, like, enlightened. He was a chill person. It's like, mm-hmm. well, first of all, you don't know if that's true. He, you could, he could have been a jerk. We don't really could've know. Been. But, like, let's say he was happy all the time. It's probably because he was like, oh, there's my thoughts again. Like, <laughs> tripping me up. It's like, are you the real Buddha? You know, he's like, mm, thoughts getting in the way of me being the Buddha. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like... If you, if you understand this principle, then it's like, how are you yourself not enlightened? Oh, yeah? How are you? Like, if you understand that, if you can define enlightenment, how are you not that definition, if you've already defined it? So like my, my all right, so it's like, uh, it's like, it's like, all right, so let's say if I'm a heavy smoker mm-hmm. and then somebody comes to me like, oh man, I need to quit smoking. Can you tell me how to do it? The first thing right, you're gonna right, do right. is like, you should do this, 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 and this. It's like, why don't you just do it for yourself, bro? You know what I mean? It's like, we all know the answer, but mm-hmm. nobody wants to do the hard work of doing it. You know, if I tell you it's in your head and then you get upset and then I'm like, okay, remember, remember, <laughs> put it into practice, you know, like it's, like it's one thing to like say it, but nobody, again, nobody wants the hard work. We all want like to level up in the video game without doing any of the work. So like many of these, um, many religions are like follow some of the same architecture as the bigger religions, right? For sure. No, 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 totally, totally. I, I, was, actually, I was actually writing uh, something about this, uh, about it, how it's like all religions follow the exact same paradigm, which is like, be a good person, right? So it's like, why do you need to like, keep divvying up this idea of what a good person means. It's mm-hmm. like, it's like, all right, now we have 17 dimensions. Okay, but what's the main principle? Be a nice person. So who cares about the 17 goddamn dimensions, bro? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> or, or it's... Or or, so, yeah. I don't know. Uh, again, yeah. Or, or it's like, give me more money as you level up in the dimension. So, yeah, that's, that's the other thing. The ones who are creating this, are they doing it for money? Or are they doing it... Like... Like, how are they convincing people? And then you gotta like, like with uh, Scientology, you gotta buy into it, right? You gotta like pay for sure, this for sure, for sure. Increase your level or for, something. Uh, something well, like that. well, What's first it? of all, it's, it's like it's like how how do you even have like the the um, the desire? Like, you, like all right, in order to create something like this, you have to first start off with the belief in it. Because okay. in yeah, order yeah, to be yeah. a charismatic person, this is the crazy part. In order to sell the religion, the mini religion, mm-hmm. or even the actual religion, you have to believe in it yourself. So on some level, you yourself are crazy. 
and then you're just making other people see your craziness. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, oh, there's a, uh, uh, I can float. You know what I mean? And then like, and then you'll like, if you hit enlightenment levels, you can float too. But it's like you yourself <laughs> don't even see yourself floating. You're just telling yourself you're floating. Right. You know, and then and then you just make believe other people that they can float too. Uh, it's just so weird. I just don't understand how you fall for that. Like, it's it's people who are suffering, man. People who are suffering mm-hmm. and they're looking for an answer to their problems an, without an actually an escape. No, no. I, um, is it an escape? I, I, you know, it's it's a good question. Is it an escape or is it an answer? I think it's like the answer leads to the escape because mm-hmm. you're like you're basically escaping your suffering, right? So like you're looking for an answer to alleviate your suffering yeah. without doing any of the work to face your suffering, right? You know what I mean? It's like it's like people who feel unloved will look for different ways to find love in their life without just being like, dude, I feel unloved. But that's the hardest thing to admit to ourselves, you know? Like, the, the mind will not allow this level, like, in the mind seeking out of safety and security, it will not allow for this level of um, uh, pride destroying. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, no, I'm not a sad person. <laughs> I was, oh man, in that, in that article about like uh, 10 spiritual um, dissolute, like, 10 stupid things that people who are spiritual do. Yeah. It's like they're overly positive on stuff. You know, and it's like, yeah, why do you need to be so positive, yo? Sometimes life does suck. It's like, dude, this moment sucks. <laughs> just acknowledge the fact that it sucks. You yeah, know? Yeah, 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 right, right. Like, my, <laughs> my dad beat me. All right, just acknowledge the fact that your dad freaking beat you. And then, you know, like, move on. Let's just look at the problem. Well, but, yeah, I guess if you keep dwelling in it, you're not, you're stuck then, right? Or you're, no, no, but even, even in your attempt to not dwell on it, you're just avoiding the problem. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, it's like those people who like, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's the biggest one when people who are like, oh, I want to, I want to heal the world. And I'm like, bro, you haven't even healed yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's like, uh, I, <laughs> I have this one client who's like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to like deal with transitions. Like, I'm just going to help people through their transitions in life. And I'm like, yeah, but you are going through so much negativity right now. Mm-hmm. It's, like you're, it's like you are being the person that you want to be. So, are, yeah, like, are you in your right mindset to help anybody? When yeah, you're... exactly. It's, it's, it, but it's like, it's like people – right, so maybe it's, it's like if, if I can get a lot of people to pay for it, it must be true. You know, maybe see, that's the basis so that they're working so... off of. <laughs> So based on how many people subscribe. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because because then it becomes a vacuum. It's like, oh, these 100 people are telling me that I'm correct. So I must mm-hmm. be correct. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? These thousands of people must be think I'm correct. But it could just be the blind freaking leading the blind, bro. You know what I mean? It's like you, they are more blind than you. Right. So you must address your own blind. So uh, it's funny because I was like telling Jared, he's like, oh, uh, where where do you teach now? And I'm like, I don't actually teach, and I also don't teach for money. And then he's like, he's like, unless you want to teach indoors. And I'm like, that's funny because it's true. <laughs> it's like if I do want to teach in a space, I'm gonna need to charge money right. in order to facilitate the space. <laughs> yeah. So even in my own paradigm of like, no, I don't teach for money. It's like mm-hmm. you're gonna eventually have to if you want to build it. Right. You know. But like, that's also probably why I don't have that many students. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but I don't even like to think of it as students because then that gets all hierarchical. You know, then it's like, yeah. it's like you are my student, you have learned from me. It's like, dude, I don't know anything other than you know. <laughs> I just know some things that I'm I'm openly telling you that I've learned, and we'll try not to BS you on. Right. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but a lot of people will just like. Yeah. They, if if yeah, the ones if you come at it with such a knowledge, like oh, I'm. I know so much here, like uh, to bring some kind of like, like a follower basis where for sure. he's like godly or godlike. For sure, for sure, for sure. You, you know, you know how I like to look at it because when you said that, I'm like, oh, my answer to this would be this. So when you're like, I know so much, I don't actually like. To, I don't like to say I know so much. I like to say I know I'm not an idiot. <laughs> That's all it is. It's like, dude, you're so freaking awake. It's like, no, I'm just not an idiot. <laughs> you know? Right. Right. Because I spent, because I spent, mul- but see, here's the crazy part. It's like, how'd you become not an idiot? Because I spent a lot of time being an idiot. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, how many different false religious mini cults have I been in? You know what I mean? That yeah. like, and then like reading about it and being like, oh no, this is ridiculous. Like, 
Yeah, but it, it's it's healthy. So like you're you're talking about internet vacuums, right? Where it's like if you yeah, earlier, yeah. if you have like a if you have like this belief, and then the internet allows you to find like more of a niche. You know, it's like mm-hmm. I'll just find more people that think like me, and then I'll be in this vacuum, right? So the the lucky part I would say of like being in those cults was that. I had friends who were outside of it being like, you're in a motherfucking cult, dog. <laughs> and I'm like, no, bro, this is the way, this is the truth, you know, I need to blah, blah, blah. And then, you, and then like only later when like you were disin- I was disenfranchised of it, yeah. where you guys were like, told you. And I'm like, man. And then it happens again, and then it happens again, and then you're like, okay, maybe, maybe I should start looking at life more objectively. We should get different friends too. I, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So if you're in the cult and then all your friends are based in the cult, well, that's then, what they do, though, right? Like they you to oh you should uh, remove yourself from your. Oh family. my god! Yeah, yeah. Oh no 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 no. The or, biggest uh, one. The biggest one is why aren't they all training here with us? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, because not everybody <laughs> likes martial arts. Why are they just in, are they just not whole people? Do they not want to become better? See, that's that's. And a, it's like, uh, oh my. Uh, well, no. At the time, I was like, you know, you're right. You are right. No, that's I know, why but I'm that's here. Some... You know, like, you know I, what I mean? Like, I was in it. I was like, <laughs> no, like, that's why I'm here because I am going to freaking become a better person, mm-hmm. you know? And then, like, but then to realize it's like, what whole person? Like, your version of a whole person? Yeah, everyone was the same, bro. Uh, I know. Boring but, life. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna bring up a cult story, but I'm like not gonna like go go out but like directly. But the the funniest one was uh, this is when I started to notice like all right something's not jiving here. We're like <laughs> we're like they were talking about mysticism like they, oh. this this uh, this cult. I'm gonna call him a cult leader because I don't want to out his name. But like this cult leader can read minds, and uh-huh. I'm like oh um, I was like oh that's no at the, at first I was like, I was trying to find the science. I was like okay maybe he can like. Can he really read my mind? Like, is he just like reading, you know, emotions or like, because right, right. you know when you have an emotion, like your facial expression yeah, the changes. Yeah, micro expression. Yeah, right, micro expressions. Micro expressions. Yeah, yeah, micro expressions. So it's like maybe he's just really good. Mentalists do that all the time. He's just a magician. Mentalists do the same trick. Yeah. They can read you. Yeah, I like right? that show, Mentalist. Yeah, so exactly. So, but you that's know, it's right. a trick. That's right. right. Yeah, that's where I learned science. So I thought it was that, and then like I started to freak myself out, like just like just like a religion would mm-hmm. have you do. It's mm-hmm. like it's like maybe he can read minds. Oh my god! And I started to like be more mindful of, but it was good training because I was more mindful of my reaction. And they're like, "Oh, you don't emote much." I'm like, "Not in this scenario because I'm afraid he can read my mind." Right. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, I, I didn't know. <laughs> and and then and then it got even more crazy when like we were like moving this cra- this like big truck thing, this like U-Haul. Uh huh. It, oh, it's so funny. So we're moving this U-Haul, and like, too bad, too bad. The leader's not here. I'm just gonna call him leader. Obviously, it's not what we call him. But we call him something very similar. Um, too bad the leader's not here and I'm like why so he can help us like so he can add to the people on the thing and then she's like the person who was saying that is like no because they can move it themselves oh my god I was like all right is he goddamn Hercules like, <laughs> like how what the hell fall for this? no no no. but you know what it is it's cognitive dissonance yo when you've been you you know what cognitive dissonance is uh, remind everyone. All right. Yeah, 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 remind everyone. So, all right, let's say you buy a pair of shoes and you come home and you don't like the shoes, right? That's cognitive dissonance. So what your brain will do is you'll start justifying in your mind why the shoes are good. Uh-huh. So it's like if you've been in a cult for so long, the cognitive dissonance will be, oh, I, I'm, I'm not crazy. This guy really is great. You know, and then you start looking at the, the positive points mm-hmm. of it and, and neglect and then, the And then if everyone else is also saying the same thing, it... Exactly, and now you're in a vacuum. Invigorates that. Invigorates that? I don't know. Uh, integrates. Integrates yeah. that uh, even more into your believing. Exactly, because then, then more people are telling you you're right, and then it's more cult on cult. Like, you're compounding the effect of the cult. Yeah. In the cult mentality, mm-hmm. right? And it's like, but, but what the crazy part is, it's like, you have to ask yourself, like, who's gaining? That's one of the things that I liked about learning business, because, like, in business, they'd always say, like, who's, who's gaining? You know? Like, where's the money being made? Right. So it's like, all right, how much? It wasn't until I, I became higher in this cult that, you know, what the crazy part is they openly, they're like, yeah, I know we're like a cult. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. What? You know, I was like, oh, that's funny, Do you guys. openly admit <laughs> No, no, but they're like, I know that people think we're a cult, but we're obviously not. We're a group of individuals who try and right, better right, ourselves right. through various exercises. Uh-huh. I'm not going to say what they were. So, but then you got to think like, why are people thinking you are a cult? I mean, that's that's. A I know bad again, PR, but, uh, for sure, for sure, for sure. But like, <laughs> but I remember the main person was like, uh, I know I'm in a cult, but I'm at least I'm the cult leader. Oh and my I'm like, god, uh, <laughs> that's the worst. Right, but but see, in my head, I was like, I was like, no, 
I'm I'm still at a lower level. You know, it must be like what Scientologists feel when mm. like when like uh, they're at the lower level and they're like, oh, like I haven't hit it yet. But then when you hear things like Zeno, Zenu, and like um, the Phoenix, yeah, yeah. So like when Phenans. so like my version of that would be like when I hit the highest level in the cult, and then I was like, well, you said we were gonna make more money, mm-hmm. and then it's like, but you're not making any more money, and it's like because you're not you're not a extra extra high level in the cult and i'm like oh my goodness you're just taking all my money away and making me work like 20 hours a day right you know for like nothing oh yeah that's true yeah it'll, they will use up your your life basically just for sure doing work but you know what it is they, they'll they'll find people in society who are very like low in the socioeconomic ladder see all right so so uh we live in a very like um affluent area Right, like yeah. rich, rich people with like, uh, mm-hmm. like, um, freaking, like high end cars, right? The expensive so, cars. Expensive cars. So, like, if you if you asked any one of them to join you, they'd be like, uh, "How much does this cost me? Uh, why is this going on? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. No, no, actually, actually, I was, I actually, sorry, I just refuted that because I remember <laughs> people in the cult were actually quite rich. They were millionaires, and I'm like. But it's like it's the promise of becoming better. It's people who are. But it's that also the cognitive dissonance because I was watching this other little doc, mm-hmm. um, but he didn't want to be shown his face in this thing okay. that they do. It was a Korean doc. Okay. He was already rich, but he wanted to keep hopefully to keep his company okay. prog- uh, progressing, right? Yeah. So he'd go to this uh, weird shaman. Oh, okay. They'd do some weird stuff. Like a cult, like a cult shaman. It's. No, it's more like a money grabber. Oh, okay, okay. Like, so you got to give yeah, me this yeah. much money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like a cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, I guess that's the following, right? But it's like, so it's like, but, oh, no, no, he, he'd come back every year. So it's like, oh, it, my company did well this year. So I think this is working. So Right. It, it's like, a, it's like, a, it's like, a, what do you call that? Not Lucky Charms, but it's like, it's a Lucky Charm. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, oh, I'll wear my, uh, it's like your good luck. It's like, I'll wear my lucky socks today. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, what do you call it? An omen? Not an omen. It's like a freaking lucky charm, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know, I know what you're saying. <laughs> I don't it's know what the good luck charm. Somebody's screaming right now, like, it's this. <laughs> it's this. You're trying to say this. Um, but yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. We, we'll start to, um, you ever hear of the word uh, pareidolia? So, so basically, it, it pareidolia. Is in the previous is, podcast? I don't remember. Uh, maybe. But per- pareidolia, if, if you don't remember, is. Uh, it's when you see no meaning and then you create your own meaning. So like you're looking at the clouds and then you, you see right. like a dragon in the clouds. That's pareidolia. You're creating shapes and, and like um, patterns out of something. Yeah, you're, you're connecting no... to something. Right, right, right. That so, has no connection. So that guy was just doing that. He's like, oh, I did really well and it must be because he because, because I went. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's, all right, so like that one aside, I know people in the cult that I was in that like were super rich and the only reason why they were in it is because like, one, they're super insecure, and two, they're looking for a more meaning and purpose. Like people are just looking for a reason to become better. You know what I mean? Yeah. And but it's like, why don't you just become better in your daily life, bro? Like, why do you need to? Why do you need to ascribe to like? I get it. Like sometimes, if you're into the exercise, yes, sure, fine. Like if you're into, you know, like let's say the cult was like a gym. Or like, uh, let's say the cult was like a martial arts thing. We don't know. <laughs> but like, if you're into that thing, right. um, then like, uh, it makes sense. Like, if you're learning something really valuable to you, right? Yeah. But if you're, but if it's like that, that's cool. But if you're going there for like more goodness and fulfillment, it's like, yeah. But why do you need to believe in some mystical being? You know. Mm-hmm. You know. Maybe they just have a hard time making friends. Uh, could be it too. Yeah, what what is the reason? Like, why do people join these things? Like, I joined it because, like, I wanted to learn. I wanted to, like, shape my understanding of, uh, of, um, martial arts. <laughs> it's kind of right. out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, all right, so, like, it's so, like martial arts can be kind of culty, you know? So, like, you know, you have, like, but, like leaders, that's, you have, like, Yeah, but I don't know how many people gurus got out of it because, so you were surrounded by friends that, didn't go to these things yeah. and were very like had different views right yeah but you but you were but see the thing is like you were all good people 
and you didn't need the thing that I was doing. Right. But I, I just wanted to learn, you know, a way of self-defense. But then in that, I learned a lifestyle and like an understanding. And I'm not saying that I didn't gain things from there. Like I became a much, like a hundred times better person than I would have ever been. It really helped me. Mm -hmm. But like, but there comes a point where you outgrow your under, it's uh, the Alexander the Great thing where, was it Alexander the Great? Where it's like, I have no master because uh, I would be limited to their, their limitation. Like if, if I had a master, I'd be plateaued by them. Uh, was that, or is that like a Hindu thing? I think that was a Hindu thing. Yeah, so there you go. Well, whatever. It was some guy's story that was, uh, I don't, uh, it wasn't like that. It was more like the story was where he wanted to get taught by somebody, but they wouldn't teach him because he was not part of that. Oh, upper class. Siddhartha, Gautama, no, not Buddha, not, not Buddha. Oh, okay. It's someone else. Who? In the I think the one of the Ramayana or Mahabharata stories of okay, Hinduism. Cool. So basically, they were he just he kind of taught himself. Oh, but, that's cool. So where autodidact? Yeah. So he taught himself where he became better than the teacher. Yeah, there you go. So that like, that's that's. Um, was it a, was it a martial art though, or was he like spirituality? It was like it was like bone arrow or something something at the time, whatever it was. Oh, okay. So so martial art, Some like kind a of skill. Mar yeah, 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 like a skill. Okay, cool, cool. Like well, they would only teach the aristocrats, right? Or like I, the, you know, the you know what's funny about that actually? Um, uh, um, Miyamoto Musashi, the greatest swordsman of all time, he um, he was self taught. He was like mm -hmm. a, a beggar in the forest and then like he he taught himself how to he killed his first person at 12 years old but he, he used unconventional swordsmanship right because he couldn't go to the school yes <laughs> yeah it, that's, I mean, that's, that's the, the thing right so if time. you were part of if you had a teacher you are limited to what the teacher knows exactly yeah, yeah. actually you know it's funny about that i i sparred brentley in uh our niece mm -hmm. um uh, I sparred him and like, but he has zero understanding or like tutelage in it, right? Right. But I did it on purpose because I'm like, okay, what would somebody throw at me who knows nothing? Because mm -hmm. that's what it is. Like, you know, like when I spar like Sydney and stuff, it's like easy. When I spar like other people, it's like easy. Not that it's uh, not knocking their skill, but it's easy because I taught them what they know. So it's like, I know what they're going to throw so, yeah, at me. You know, you know, it's like, like, yeah, you know the, where, um, the weak points or whatever. Exactly, yeah, exactly. And I'm exploiting them because I know what you're looking for because I taught you what to look for. You right. know, uh, I don't want to say taught. Actually, I, I showed you what to look for. Right. Uh, but like, but like, w but you know, when like Brentley goes at it, it's like, oh man, this is like so new because you're like spinning it. I've like, yeah, never yeah, seen yeah. it before. I'm like, okay, I got to reassess the situation. But like, it's always healthy to do that to go outside of your own paradigm to see if what you're thinking is correct. But again, it's the hardest thing to do. Yeah. to listen to the other person's viewpoint, you know? It doesn't have to be our niece or martial arts. It, it yeah, that's, that's a really tough thing. Uh, people can't take criticism. Yeah, exactly, can't take criticism. You, you know what's really interesting too? Like how in, um, in Western society now, uh, we're, we're so separated by uh, classes, even though we want to be equals, you know, like, it's yeah. like e equality, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, then why do you look at your teacher like, why do you look at your school teacher as being better than you? Why do you look at your yoga instructor as being better than you? Why do you look at your martial arts teacher being better than you? You're talking about equality, but you're not even using equality. You know what I mean? It's like we're, we're so naive to our own understanding of what these things mean, mm -hmm. you know, that it's like, it's like, can you really have equality? No, because in um, – no, actually, you know, I, I said this to Sydney once, and he had a good point. Cause like a weird, I was like showing him martial arts and stuff, and then I was like, no, but like there's no equality, because when I'm showing you something, like if I'm showing you something in our niece, uh, there's a hierarchy. I know more than you, so I'm showing you. If it's basketball, you know more than me, so you're showing me. So there is yeah. hierarchy, right? Right. No equality, and he didn't like that. And I was like, but there's a mutual respect, and then he liked that. It's like no, no, there's hierarchy because there's like you know something I don't know. Natural. Yeah. But mutual respect is that I know that you know other things that I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But like, yeah. again, we forget this in society. But it, in our haste to become equal, <laughs> we, we like take things that are so dumb, which are like, uh, I, was, I was doing that survey for uh, the, the new cannabis laws. And then it's like, are you a two spirit? Are you a... Uh, oh, the question, what kind of person... Like, a gen, like a gender or something? <laughs> or I'm gender, like, right. It's like two-spirit. What the goddamn is a goddamn two-spirit, <laughs> you know? 
Like, I have no idea. <laughs> right? It's like, it's, I get like, you know, I get like uh, male, female, other, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know? Did you leave it at other? Why are we going to put like, <laughs> like transgender? Like, I get, I get it. No, no, I get, I get the labeling, but we can go too far where it's like, why do we got to be two spirits? How do we even know? What if I don't believe in spirits? I'm a no spirit, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we're just pushing paradigms. Yeah. More separation on top of non-separation. Mm-hmm. It's like we're just one people, you know? Oh, yeah, or just say no gender, whatever. Just keep it. Or no gender. Yeah, exactly. Why just like, leave me off this. But, uh, like, uh, that tweet that we saw, the, and I reposted the Joe Rogan one, about, like, uh, what is a, is a white... I don't know. Uh, was born a man, is a transgender, <laughs> but believes himself to be Filipino. Oh, man. And it's like, god damn, son. Like, you could just said you like the Filipino culture, bro. That's all. Oh, oh, my God. No, no, no. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into this one. So you're like, I like the Filipino culture. What I don't understand is, we talked about this before, well, you and me off podcast, but it's um, it's about how how people are so culturally confused. <laughs> like, it's like, you're Indian, okay? Yeah. I know yoga, but right. in no way, shape, or form do I say I'm goddamn Indian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, do, do you see me wearing like a freaking um, what do you call it? Wait, sorry, not sorry. Like a kurta, I think it's kurta. I don't know. Whatever. Some, some male, the male shape, version. You know, is it? yeah, like, I got like, you. And, and then like it's like okay, I might have taught you. You know, uh, not you, but like if I, I might have taught a student like our niece, but why you gotta wear the barong, bro? Well, you know, like you're not goddamn Filipino. It's not in your culture, you know. But you know what's really weird? Those like those uh, those uh, adaptable people who start like adapting like the mannerisms of the culture. Uh huh. Oh, buddy, buddy, you oh, must. My and God. then you're like, that's just horrible. That's just racist. It, it, we see it as racist, but then they're like, they don't see it because they're like, no, I'm being Indian because I went to India and I study yoga. <laughs> you know, what I mean? it's like, uh, yeah, that's. Nobody talks like that. Oh, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nobody like, normally talks like God that. Damn, yo. <laughs> but you see it all the time, you know? It, it's like, it's it's either cultural confusion or like cultural repping too hard, yo. It just lost. You're, it lost. But that's all it tells me, you know? If you're culturally confused or repping too hard, it's like you're lost, yo. Like, you know what's really funny? Like, I know actually a lot of uh, Filipino words, but people are always like, oh, do you know any like Tagalog? And I'm like, no, no, no. And then they're like, oh, I just tell them like I I don't know it uh-huh. because like I don't want you to like start talking to me in it and then I'm confused you know right but I know it enough that I can actually listen to what my parents are saying and understand it and I can respond back in English and then or do some mm-hmm. command right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah but like in no way shape or form again did I ever grow up being like I'm Filipino bro ano bayan <laughs> no you yeah. know like I I, I like, think when I was growing up I I always said um, I'm Canadian. That's what I said too, bro. Because it's like, no, we, we grew up in Canada, bro. And my, my parents hated that. They, they tried to get me like, they're like, oh, you have, you have to call your sister Manong, Manang, you know? Like, and I'm like, why am I going to do that? You got to call her Ate. And I'm like, okay, like, I we're not in the goddamn Philippines. Well, I so. understand you're the parents, right? Because no, they, they don't right. want you to lose certain I get it. cultural I get it. I get stuff. It. They don't like, want you to lose the culture. I get it. Right, but it's inevitable that... It's inevitable. We aren't. We. I am not Indian in the way that someone born and raised it's, in India exactly. is. Exactly. And, and wh- why are you gonna rep so goddamn hard? You know. It's like. But then. But then. Like. And then you get these uh, cultural appropriateists who I just made that word up. I don't know. If that's real. But like, uh, like people we know who mm-hmm. are like, oh, you didn't say, you didn't say kuya. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. We're in goddamn Canada. Like you know, or like, or like somebody of a different ethnicity will start using like, oh, kuya, kuya, you know, like, and I'm like, it means brother. So okay. it's like they'll be like, oh, kuya, this, and I'm like, no, no, you know, the the worst when they when they. So I saw this once. It was hilarious. They they knew only like um, how to count to five, and they kept repeating it. <laughs> okay. And then and then the person who was actually like that ethnicity uh-huh. was like, is that all you know? And I laughed oh. so hard. I was like. <laughs> Dude, you called him out. You straight up called him out. You know? Yeah. Like, no, a little bit more than just five numbers, bro. I know. Or, 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 gonna, or like, like, or like, thank you. You know, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, say the simple, the simple, um, uh, like etiquettes, like for sure, for sure. But I never, I never try and cross that road. Like, all right, so like, um, uh, actually, no, no, because no. when I was in Hong Kong, I was saying ngoi, but like, that's. 
it was trying to be like, uh, it, it's like, it, you know what I mean? It, it wasn't, I didn't think I was from Hong Kong. I was just doing it because it was like, we're all doing it, you know? Mm-hmm. But like, I don't, I don't come but back here. But you're also here. surrounded by you know what I mean? people like, who, of, that is their language. You know so I mean? it's like, yeah, exactly. It's like, rather than be like, yeah. thank you. And then they're looking at me like, the fuck does this guy just say? I'm just like, I'm glad. <laughs> You know, then it's like, okay, I understand that means thank you. But now that we live in like an Asian area, I'm not going to these places and be like, I'm glad, I'm glad. You know, it's like, we're back in Canada, bro. I can say thank you. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, but I'm cultured. You know, I'm no, cultured. I'm cultured. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll say things as like a joke, but I'll never like mean them because it's like, what gives you the, the notion that you are it? just because you've done it for like four months mm-hmm. you know like unless you've lived there for like 20 it, it's sort of like when uh uh like uh rock star they talked about this before like madonna uh she went to england and then she came back with a british accent and it's like you lived there for two years bro like why why you gotta why you gotta come back with a british accent <laughs> like you've never been in america before <laughs> yeah i don't know people are i just don't want to it's just confusion, bro. Cultural confusion. confusion. No, no, no. I won't even say cultural oh. confusion. Self confusion. Self confusion. Yeah. You know, just like we're we're so incapable an, of being who we are. Identity crisis. I, it, for sure. Just it, it's sort of like um, it, oh, when, all right, so we're playing video games right now, and people are like, oh, like that's so um, that's so young, you know, like you're so that's so kid like so kid like right, but it's like. I understand that kids play the game, but I'm not acting like a child on here. <laughs> I just enjoy the the atmosphere of the game and the challenges that it brings. Yeah, you know what I mean. But then, but the funny thing is, the average gamers are not kids. Yeah, for sure. For they, sure, they are like in their thirties. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Because how is the kid going to freaking afford the game? How's the kid a lot of these afford- games are age restricted? You they know gotta, exactly. They so can't it's even like. Go out and play the game. Like like Last of Us, like Last is a twelve year old gonna goddamn play Last of Us? No, if if there are, their no, parents no, no, but, are but, not doing the right thing. Right, right, but but the age restriction on it's but like that, yeah, plus, there is so a like, huge yeah that's that's the thing. Uh, if you follow what the, um, there are age rating restrictions for you know games, even mm, movies, right? All yeah, that stuff, same thing. You you know it's funny when when uh, people who talk about ignorance, they're like, oh man, the world's so ignorant. And then they act ignorantly. <laughs> like, oh man, you still play video games? And it's like, okay, that was an ignorant statement. Right, right. So how can you state something, you know? But th- that's been my own recent practice, though. Because I remember, like, days of being like, oh, ignorance and people is, like, so bad, blah, 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 blah. You know, like, well, the world should wake up. Mm-hmm. You know, only to realize that it's me who needs to wake up to the fact that I want the world to wake up. Yeah. You know, it's right. like, like, the only person that cares about world peace is you caring about world peace mm-hmm. you know yeah because you know I'm, other people are worrying about food other people yeah for sure and what was that line what was that line where it's like uh, uh, my world peace oh no 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 that was in Sydney say it was hilarious where my world peace would be you leaving me alone <laughs> <laughs> so it's like <laughs> the fact that you're telling me that you want world peace you've already disrupted my peace right yeah so, no, it, yeah it's really um, arrogant to go around and saying that arrogant Spiritual arrogance. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And it's like... That's pretty piss off. It is. Because you're like... <laughs> I think you're making it worse. <laughs> you are. Because it's like, all right, I can show you 20 reasons why you are an unspiritual being. Mm-hmm. You know, And then they're like, they're like, no, but I'm working towards it. And I'm like, yeah, and you've just went back a step by telling me that I need to blah, 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 blah. Right, you know? right. But again, that's just more suffering on their part. Honestly, it all comes down to like suffering. We we project. You know that line from like Jesus, where it's like, before you look at the log in the other person's eye, you have to look at your own log, mm-hmm. right? And it's like people forget this first tenant. You know, it's like, bro, before you start trying to save the world, realize you're drowning. You right. Know? But because because if you address your own drowning, you'll be so busy trying to save yourself that you won't care about other people. Right? Because mm-hmm. it's like it's like if I'm getting sorry, right, you're getting upset at me because you want to save the world. Right. But you're already upset. So fix your upsetness <laughs> before you try start trying to spread yeah. that we should all change. Mm-hmm. You should change. Uh, but if 
And then that's it. I think you should be the example, but not going around preaching it. For sure. And, and in, in being the example, you will have solely focused on yourself and left everyone alone. Yeah. Right? Because it's like, it's like, oh, why am I getting upset, bro? Why am I getting upset at the fact that the world needs to change? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, look at why you're suffering from that. It's like, do, do you not, are you not loved? Like, are right. you seeking to spread love? Do you want other people to love you for being the change that everyone wants to be? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, it's like, if I can change the world, everyone will glorify me as the one who changed the world. Yeah. So <laughs> right there is your inability to experience love yeah. from other people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's these hard-hitting questions. It's like, just focus on being loved by, you know it's a really crazy one? When people are like, oh man, it's all about love. And it's like, your love is more like attached sexual love. It's more like urges. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? They're like, they're like, oh man, like, I love this person. And it's like, you don't really know what love means though. Right. You know? I've, I've come up with my own definition. Oh, my phone is falling out. Oh, sorry. I've, I've come up with my own definition for love. I th- and I want to I get your opinion. Love to me, my, my impression on it, is that it is a state of total engagement in the moment. Complete presence is love. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Right? Because if you love something, you're not pulled away from that moment, that thing. Yeah. Right? It's like, uh, if you love, uh, uh, what's a good example? That's not a person because like, uh, when people are like, okay, so people are like, I love playing basketball. Yeah, because you're so engaged in that moment, mm-hmm. which is also relatable to a person. But people are focusing so heavily on the person that they don't realize that it's not the person, it's the experience of engagement that they're looking for. Yeah. Right? Because when you're so in, in, in like enamored by a single person, then it's like, oh, I can't stop thinking about them. Yeah, because you're pulled into that moment. You're pulled into that experience of like true presence, you know, which can be extrapolated into other things. You know, I love drawing. I love this. I love right, that. Right, right, yeah. But it's like just swap out the word love for presence. I feel most present when. That makes sense. Right? Yeah, that makes total sense, yeah. But it's like, but again, how many people ask what love really means? <laughs> and how many people are defining what love means without even understanding, understanding what love it. means? Yeah. You know? Do you not realize that your, your sense of love is creating suffering? I love this person so much, it's going to suck when they die. Yep, that's, yep, that's <laughs> attachment. You're creating separation, suffering. You're right. But if you just see it as like they bring me to the here and now, then it's like, well, many things will bring you to the here and now, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anything. Yeah, whatever you like doing, right? Yeah, for sure. I don't yeah. know. It, the world is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I don't want to say the world is crazy. The people in it. People are crazy. Yeah, but but all right, all right. So like the, the idea of crazy. So somebody who's crazy doesn't know that they're crazy. So mm-hmm. it, crazy is just a belief system. So when we say that the world's crazy, it really means that people are so in belief. Even right now, as we're saying this, we're so in belief of what we're saying that we are crazy. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like our viewpoint of the world is crazy because it's all crazy. But not in the sense that it's like, oh, it's all crazy. It's all weird, man. It's all like next level. <laughs> You know, you're in some yeah. crazy. No, it's just like pathology means that you don't understand anything outside of your own reality. Like you could be like, "Oh, I'm uh, demons are attacking me," and to you, that's the realest thing ever. Mm-hmm. Reality is pathology, basically. You know, reality is like craziness. You know, that's why that's why we're saying that the world's crazy. Yeah, because I, they're yeah. they're crazy on their own experience. You know. But the, you know, yeah, what, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, right? yeah, that's. Yeah, I didn't mean it in in, in that way. I, it's just like the world is interesting that we have. Oh, you mean like crazy all, cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's oh, what I meant, I meant it in that way. Oh, I meant it. I meant it like crazy, like you're nuts. Oh no. Well, I mean, it, it's all that's that's all of it, right? <laughs> that's everything that's there. It, that's funny again, like with words, right? The word love can mean so many different things. You just said crazy, and I automatically gravitated towards like psychology. <laughs> Right. Psychosis, and then you automatically <laughs> gravitate towards cool, but they both meant crazy. So this is where definition matters. Right? This is where definition matters, and what's even what's even more nuts about it is that definition also matters when you read a book. Mm. Because like when they say something, they might not actually mean what you think it means. Right. Like just like we just proved that's a great that's a great example. Like you said crazy, I thought pathology, you thought awesome. 
So if we wrote, yeah. if we if we had a transcript of our dialogue, which is like Plato's uh, Plato's Republic, which is just a transcription of their conversation, mm-hmm. and then people pull all this meaning from it, it's like, well, you don't understand the context of which they were talking. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's like, um, how do we know that Plato Socrates is the grandfather of uh, or Plato? Plato or Socrates is Plato. How do Plato. we know that Plato is the godfather of uh, law? The grandfather of law. Mm-hmm. How do we know? We're just we're just saying that in our contemporary society, during their time, he was crazy, like my yeah, crazy. He was, uh, pathology yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people were, I mean, people had to get get jobs uh, in order to get food and stuff. It's so funny because it sounds a lot like now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's like we haven't changed, man, and like yeah, we haven't changed. But again, it's like only technology. Right? Like, it's the same problems. Same problems, a different time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, in, in wanting it to change, only you will be the one seeking out change. Right. Like, in wanting it to change and then seeking out how to change it, you will have changed yourself. Mm-hmm. You know? You know what I mean? Like, you're never going to change anyone. Right? Like, I can tell you to do 100 push-ups it's you who has to freaking do the hundred That's right. That's right. You know what I mean? So it's you like you can only suggest. You can only suggest, but then people are so obsessed with like changing people's minds. You can't. You, no, no. You know, you know why they want to change people's minds? Because they want something. These people who want these people who who are so like obsessed with changing other people, mm-hmm. it's because they want something out of that change. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like, man, everyone's so mean to me. If only the world was just, like, nicer to one another, it's like, maybe you just can't deal with mean people, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. We're, we're all in a desire-filled state, you know? Uh, I don't know. Why? Why are we all in a desire-filled state? Why so serious? <laughs> You know what's funny? That's going to be my next article. I was writing it this morning, and the title's Why So Serious? As we put the Joker thing. Oh. Yeah. Because we, like, uh, you ever hear that 5 by 5 rule? No. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, if it doesn't matter in five years, why give more than five minutes to it? Oh. You know? Where do you hear these things? Where do I hear these things? Yeah. Uh, TMB Theories. Oh, cool. My, my, my job is to, like... No, but, like, where do you... Is that something made up? Oh, no, 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 like, like so, so every day, I, like, <laughs> now, now you're delving into my world, uh, every day I, like, scroll for quotes that, this happened, like, three years ago, like, I've been doing this for three years, mm-hmm. like, I, every day I would look on, like, Instagram for, like, quotes, and then I would screenshot those quotes, and then, like, put them up on TNB Theories, because things that I thought were cool, I wanted to share with other people. Right. So, like, every single day I'm reading new things, and, like, watching new things to, like, post on that thing, mm-hmm. but in, I always saw it as a, a personal practice, you know, it's, like, in doing this, I will have forced myself to like learn. Right. Oh, okay. So this is over the years of. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, I just sound like I've been doing a lot of work. Like it's like, oh, that sounds like this quote. That sounds like this quote. It's just because like my my website is based off of quotes. So oh. it's like if you were talking to me about like carpentry to a carpenter. <laughs> Bit, but see, this is the, all right. Here's the other crazy part. When people try and like, all right, so it's like it's like you never want to draw a samurai sword on a samurai who who knows how to kill, mm-hmm. right? It's like never never pull out a blade unless you're going to use it. Never yeah. pull out a weapon unless you're going to use it. Ooh, I gotta go in like five minutes. Um, never right. pull a weapon unless it'll end hopefully. Oh, we're gonna end here. Uh, we're gonna we'll end in two minutes. All right, cool, cool. So you you never want to pull a blade on somebody who who um who has a blade, right? So, so like, uh, unless you're intent to use it. So it's so funny because, like, a lot of people will engage in spiritual conversation with me, right? But they mm-hmm. don't understand the amount of – I've been doing – I've been reading quotes for three years obsessively and posting every single day. And then somebody has been doing it for, like, 20 years, you know? And I've read hundreds – well, I don't want to say hundreds because that's, like, hyperbole. That's too – who's read hundreds of books? Show me somebody who's read hundreds of books. I think I've read, like, five books. That's what I'm saying. I've read maybe, like, 40, 50 uh, books. I think they were all Harry Potter. <laughs> good stories, good stories. But but like so like in doing this, it's like because like there's no PhD for well there probably is well there's no PhD. Mm, 
there is a PhD for philosophy, but I don't really regard that as one. Like, you can be a philosopher outside of that, but like, you you don't have like um. There's no black belt for philosophy, right? So you can't show people what you've learned. So yeah. everybody thinks that they're. It's like you can't get into the room. You can't get into the. It's a um. The quote from freaking uh, Fast and the Furious: "You can't get in the ring with Ali just because you think you can box, <laughs> right?" Right. So it's like, it's like you're gonna say some stuff that you you've kind of dabbled in, mm -hmm. but like I've been like religiously trying to learn this for myself to dispel all the mystery in my own head. Right. You know. Makes sense. So, so like it, it's funny when like. Um, it's funny when like you go combatively against somebody about spirituality, <laughs> right? And then they, when they lose, they're like, "I never meant to argue." <laughs> it's like, all right, right there, you've already just shown me that you're weak, right? You know, because it's like every conversation is an argument of ideas, mm -hmm. right? Every every conversation is a philosoph philosophical debate. Yeah, philosophy is just talking about your ideas and then trying to convince the other person that you're correct, mm -hmm. right? So then people who try and get in the in the ring with Ali to box, like I've never backed down. I've never ever said, you know what? I sh unless I'm I'm saying it because they're so upset, then it's like, all right, we should end this. But I've never said I never want I never wanted to not argue with you, bro. Like you know, I've never. Well, I guess because we as kids we would always do that to one another. But like you'd be a pussy if you were like, I never wanted to argue with you, bro. You're taking this way too goddamn far. It's like you just you're a goddamn pussy. You know, if we were on the schoolyard, you'd be like, beat the beat the pussy up. You know? Okay. <laughs> just use that like three times. Yeah. Oh, pussy, pussy. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, that's so derogatory. We don't use that because it's like um Terry doesn't like it when I say that word. It's very derogatory. Sorry. <laughs> beat the wimp up. <laughs> how, 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 well, how are we gonna say it, yo? How are you gonna say it? All right, I, I got, I got your point. You know what I mean? I it's like, it's point. like you just gotta be a little tougher in reality. Yeah. But then, if society's pushing you in a way that's like, we gotta be inclusive, that's making people less tough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like social inclusion for me is very upsetting because it's like, it's like, I uh, racism's bad. You shouldn't hurt other people. But it's like, there's a line where it's like, just why are you? making everyone inclusive because that's when you get that's when you get into cults that's why i don't like it mm -hmm. because it's like it's like you know how do you know that there's no 15 dimensions bro science um yeah what science but yeah I, no, no, no no i mean i mean like no I, science like like how do you know there's no 15 dimensions? oh i get it you're responding like, like what, what science? factual science are you exactly calling? exactly but then it's like no man we gotta be inclusive in reality bro it's like for every oh single my idea God. right right you know what i mean like all right, I guess we're not in favor of progression. Why don't we just go back to the Stone Age when we believed in freaking mummies and demons and stuff? Like, oh, people still believe in that. werewolves and like Santa Claus. Like, why don't we just jump back to that time? There's no, there's no, like, if people want actual spiritual progression or like awakenness, like they say, mm -hmm. it's like you gotta push your buttons. You gotta be like, are you sure that's correct? Right. But in that, it's push like... Push your ideas, right? Push like, your ideas. But it's like, no, no, but we don't want to be argumentative because yogis and, like, spiritual people are all happy and enlightened and, like, peaceful. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't, we don't step on other people's toes. And I'm like, and that is why we're not getting world peace. That right there. Because you won't even listen to the fact you might be wrong. You might be wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm always open to the idea I'm wrong. But you have to convince me, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, but we've done that so many times, right? Like when I was studying the yoga and stuff, and like I'd say a bunch of just changing the time. Mm, all right, I got about like five minutes. Um, I said that last time. Yeah. But this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, so like, <laughs> uh, so like I know when I was studying these things, you you guys who weren't studying, you'd always rip me for it. Like, well, what does that mean? Like, why does that work that way? And I'd have to think of like the reasoning behind it. So you, in order to convince times, you guys, a lot of the times I was doing it. Just to make you more think about it more, think about it more. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I thought you like actually didn't understand. I was like, all right, well, how the fuck am I gonna explain no, this? No, because I, I I I try to do the devil's advocate too. But people hate that. Oh my god. I know they hate that. Oh my god. Uh, if if you if you want to see something really funny of like my childhood, like um, my childhood with these guys, like my my close friends, um, being uh, exemplified on a video, watch the first podcast of. Persistence Academy, where it's like, why you gotta do that? Why, why you always gonna play the devil's advocate? And I'm like, well, the, what were we supposed to do here? We're all just gonna, I, I said like, well, then we'd all just be in a vacuum. I said it very cordially, but right. in my mind, I was like, God, so what do you want me to do, yo? Care Bears? You know, like, you want me to give you a goddamn hug? <laughs> like, why are you in this room then? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, 
We're here to discuss ideas. We're here. Not everyone's going to agree. Thank you. We're here to discuss ideas. That's what evolution is. Yeah. Like, why are you trying to hold us back? Like, the, the sheer fact that you're like, I want to wake up. You need to first wake up to the fact that you might be wrong. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, people are, they, they think they've, like, gotten the way. Or mm-hmm. they think that they're enlightened just because they've read a couple books. But it's like, prove it to me. Tell me. Tell yeah. me what it means from your own words. Yeah. But you know what pisses me off a lot? It's like, what does this mean? I can't describe it, bro. It's just, it's beyond words. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Like, what are you talking about? Like, when, when they're like... If you can't explain it... You don't fucking know. Then... Yeah. If, wait, no, 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 no. If you can't explain it, then how did you read about it? Do you not think that the person who wrote about it that you're reading and then you're telling me that you can't explain it, they wrote it. So if you actually understand it, you're able to say what they said in a different way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's so ridiculous. Like, like the undescribable is unable to be described. It is both here and there, then and not now. Then, both then and now, both big and small. And it's like, oh, okay, what does that mean? Yeah. You know? I don't think they really They're, go into deciphering what this exactly. A hundred percent. And and if you're listening to this, everyone's got to read. Uh, if you really want to like test your knowledge, read uh, Soul of the Samurai because that's what they say in there. Mm-hmm. They say it's one thing to regurgitate words, and it's another thing to actually know what it means. Because like that, I think we're like Zen Zen or you know it's funny. I was like, oh Jared, like I've been studying more past the yoga, and now I'm into Zen, and I realized that this whole time we were Zen people, and like people who like were talking very Zenly. And Jared goes, I'm too Zen to be Zen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, there it is, yo. I was like, I see you out here, Guru Guru Jay, pulling this non Zen Zenness. You know what I mean? But it's like in that because he doesn't care. He's like. Yo, you're texting me about some bullshit right now. You know? <laughs> like, like, yeah, because I'm having the problem with it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, it's like you have to be able to look at it from that perspective. How do you know that there is... So that's what I was doing. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. That's yeah, great. Because I don't, you don't want to say that. It, no, but... But you don't want to say that you're doing that right, until you right, figured right. it out. Then right, you tell right, them right. that that's what I was doing. Right, 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 right. See, but I knew that. I, but that's why the whole time when I was like in the yoga, I was like, no, no, like Vish was teaching me a lot about the yoga, you know? And then it's like, yeah, but he's not awake in the spiritual. Life. Does he have a 500 hour? I'm like, mother, motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker. Like, come on. We're going to go down to this, you know? I like, have a supreme level. <laughs> if, if, uh, if you're wondering what he means, uh, Vishal in uh, Hindu means uh, supreme consciousness. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, I don't even need to be at the level of consciousness, bro. <laughs> I'm just supremely conscious already. <laughs> you know, it's so ridiculous, man. And But that's, I, but, uh, to, to the person's like benefit, they were like, oh, you're very Libra. That's very Libra of you. And I guess like, I, I know you don't believe in Zodiacs, but I, I believe that we have tendencies that are very Zodiac-like. So the fact that I'm looking for equality is very, uh, Libra-ish mm-hmm. in nature. I know you don't believe it, but I'm just saying it's like, it's. I just I prefer. It's like, why are we not all on an even even playing field? You know what I mean? Like, why do we need? I know I I said hierarchy, but it's like you need mutual respect, and mutual respect is understanding that I might not have all the answers, and I'm willing to listen to somebody who may have a opposing viewpoint. But it's crazy still because it's like when, when I listen to somebody with an opposing viewpoint. So this is, what, this is, this is my everyday encounter in a conversation. Uh, I believe this. And I go, oh, that's interesting. You've already pushed in my head. I don't actually say this. I'm like You've already pushed a belief system onto me. So I'm going to oppose it. And then like I oppose it. Mm-hmm. And then they can't stand there and defend their topic. And they're just like, why are you going to be, be so... Such a jerk. Why am I going to be so mean? Why am I going to be so mean? I'm like, man. I want to go in that corner and cry now. <laughs> I know. That's all it is, though. It's like you just, you don't, you don't know enough of what you're saying in order to stand here and box with Ali. Yeah, you got to be able to defend it. Exactly. And I, that's, that's the key cornerstone. All right, last, last thing because I'm super late. Uh, the key cornerstone, if you're listening, um, uh, is that if you honestly believe in what you're saying, you should have enough gusto to defend it. Because then you really know. Yeah. You know? And don't use the off switch of like, oh, I just didn't want to argue, bro. Or like, uh, it's beyond measurement. It's beyond the human thinking mind. 
All right, so then you can't even conceive it. So it's not <laughs> real. Oh my God, there, there's my argument. Oh my God, there's my argument. Right, I'm just going to put this out there. So because if you're, if anyone's listening right now and they want to box with Ali, I don't think I'm Ali, but I'm young Yoda. But uh, <laughs> if, if, if you say something like, if you say something like me, it's like it's beyond comprehension. So then it's beyond your own comprehension, meaning that it's not even real. Yeah. Because you can't even comprehend it yourself. Yeah, if you say that, we're all we all have the same biology. That means you don't understand it. Exactly. Yeah. It's beyond comprehension. No, it's beyond your comprehension, bro. <laughs> so what are you telling me right now? That you don't know something? So you're standing in front of me telling me that you don't know something. That's what our conversation mm. has become. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so enlightened, I know that I don't know. Wow, okay, yo. Nice, nice way to like I honestly I've I've had that like a bunch of times, maybe three major ones where mm. they're like, I really didn't want to argue on this one. And I'm like, then why did you bring <laughs> just up the wanted, conversation? Or they just wanted a, someone that agrees with them. They just wanted confirmation. Yes, yeah, they That's want a confirmation on their faulty principles. Yeah. Weak minded. All right. Uh, I got to go because I'm going to be late. Pick up Tara. Um, just final thought is, fool for me is don't be weak. Get up, bitch. Do some push ups. Jeez. Um, uh, <laughs> so mean. Chop, j- chop down, do uh, some goddamn push ups. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just have fun. Just have fun. I like that. You know, that's actually a song. Not that, well, all right. Yes, they're both two songs. So your song is Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Okay. And my song is uh, Stop Reading and Start Doing Push Ups by uh, Destroy, Rebuild, Until God Shows, aka Drugs. Okay. It's a band. So check out those two songs Girls Just Want to Have Fun. That's Michelle. And uh, stop reading, start yeah. doing push ups. That's me. Um, yeah, cool. All right, till next time. Oh, uh, hopefully, we get a couple more in. Vish is going to be leaving for India this Friday. Uh, no, this Saturday. I'll be on Saturday, yeah. I'm leaving. He's going to be gone for two weeks. I'm going to be leaving for Ottawa. So you might not get another Socratic Gamers unless Sydney's off work. Sydney's been working a lot. So uh, we'll try and get some in before you leave. If not, definitely when you get back, I guess. We'll see. I'll be busy. I got to pack and stuff. Damn. Yeah, All right. Idea. So this might, if this is not the, well, if this is the last one, we went out on a merry bender of 2 4. Okay. Happy 2 4. 24. 24 episodes. All right. Oh, is that what this is? Yeah, that's why I said happy 2 4. Okay. Like our spiritual folly. Our merry. All right. I'm just yammering. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah. All right. Do it right. now. Peace out. Later. Bye.